and I would like, but you need to hear what is coming. If you're going to stand up for Christ, it could cost you. But friends, great is your reward. Let's watch this. Representative Hudson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Incidents that may not be criminal. That's what I heard. So we're going to create a mechanism for reporting incidents where no crime took place, where the defining characteristic, to the extent there's any definition at all, is that somebody feels as though they were discriminated against based upon actual or perceived, that's the language in the bill, characteristics. I'm deeply concerned about the implications of this bill. We're going to create a database of incidents that have no objective standard determining whether or not they violated the law, um, whether or not they had anything distinct from just normal speech. An incident of bias. So if someone were to post on social media a particular Bible verse that defined marriage or spoke of God's institution of marriage as being between one man and one woman, or a Bible verse that spoke in condemning terms regarding certain sexual proclivities, would that posting of a Bible, Bible verse be considered an incident reportable under your bill? Representative Bang. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I would just say that it's, it is important to let our community know that we do not tolerate hate and bias incidents in this community and in Minnesota, and that we, and that we support communities that has been harassed, intimidated, and abused. Everyone is protected, no exceptions. And I can also uh, defer to Commissioner Lucero uh, to help shed light on uh, the increased need to make sure that we are able to document and accurately uh, know what's happening in our communities. Wow, did you guys catch that? Legislation coming that you don't have a right to believe, think, or communicate what you believe. Do you know Jarrah's family left Europe in the, in the 1600s because of this very thing? They weren't allowed to believe the Bible. They weren't allowed to speak of it. They were persecuted. They were run out of England, went to Holland as a result of persecution there, eventually sold everything they got, got on the Mayflower, came to this shore hoping and anticipating religious liberty. In other words, the freedom to be able to worship God with a clear conscience and to be able to articulate that and live that. Friends, I just want you to hear this and the reason is, this is no time for being lukewarm in the generation in which you're living. And you think about this, uh, this unfolding, this is this legislation that's being presented and coming down, not just here in Minnesota, but across the country. Or, we could talk about your views regarding life and the fact that it's sacred. I mean, how many times have we shared in this room and how many times have you shared that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? Fully made. Ladies, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You men, fearfully and wonderfully made. Children, fearfully and wonderfully made. This morning at 5.30, I received a text from one of our senators and he said this to me mark i have sad news i just came from the capitol it's 3 30 a.m uh, where the minnesota senate just ended just 16, ended 16, 16 hours, of, hours debate of debate over the extreme, over the extreme abortion, abortion, bill. abortion bill despite our efforts despite to stop, our efforts moderate, to stop moderate, moderate, this assault, assault, on our children, assault on our children we lost we on, lost a strict, on a strict party line party vote. line vote the bill being the bill being identical to identical the house, to the house bill, bill we will now we will now, will now go to the governor now go to the governor uh, who will welcome uh, who will the opportunity to sign it into law in the, law in the, next, few days. In the next few days this bill has, this bill no, has restrictions no restrictions and will be the most will be the extreme most abortion extreme. law in the nation and perhaps perhaps in the world where it will honestly rank in comparison to the similar abortion policies found in north korea in China. 
It goes beyond Roe versus Wade and allowing minor children to be sterilized without their parents' notification, thereby furthering the sexual... Uh, he goes on there and describes various things. We'll skip that. You get the point. I'm not surprised by this action. 